Hey guys and gals, I'm Pal and... Huh. You know... I'm nothing more than a voice to you. The only faces you've had to associate me with were that of Amaterasu, Ness, Olimar, or Lynx. And it's been two years. Two long years. And I would like to fix that. I would like to fix that right now. Let's see, the tripod set up. Framing, if it's not good now, I can fix it in editing. Hit record. And... Hello. I'm Pal. Or I guess I should say, Hey guys and gals, I'm Paladin, and welcome to the third year. 2016, the third year of the channel. Man, it feels good. Now, if you're new to this channel, first of all, welcome. But second of all, I set aside one video a year to throwing out some random st statistics showing exactly how much we've grown, as well as talking about how, how I've improved how I've improved with the content, and exactly what directions the channel has grown, because the stats don't really tell you much unless you explain them, and so that's why I will be, go be doing. I will also talk about what I want the future of the channel to look like, where I want the channel to grow, where I want it to go, and what I want it to look like. So without further ado, let's go jump into those stats. In the year of 2015, I released 148 videos. There have been 6,400 new views, 43,300 minutes watched, 475 likes, 764 comments, and 98 new subscribers. Now, for the totals across both years, there have been 272 videos released, 10,700 views, 68,600 minutes watched, 887 likes, 1,500 comments, and 222 subscribers. Once again, these dates, well, for this last year, it was January 31st, 2015, to the same date in 2016, and then across both years, it was a year before that, January 31st, 2014, to the same date this year. So, yeah, those are big numbers, and I'll be talking about exactly what exactly what those mean in just one moment. But first, I would like to talk about the top three videos released on the channel in 2015. I did not do this in last year's video. I would like to do it now, and I would like to start doing it now, because it's interesting, and it shows me exactly what you like and what you don't. So, without further ado, in terms of minutes watched, the first episode of Earthbound comes in first place with 1,600 minutes watched. Next place was the game review beta of Mario Kart 8 with Steven and Mal. They were doing a community outreach type thing uh, at the end of their uh, versus LP, I guess. They covered a bunch of Mario Kart games, so LPs, I guess? They did a, a community outreach thing at the end to end off their Let's Play. I jumped on the bandwagon and got to play with them for a little bit and I montaged the experience and it was it was pretty fun. There were some tense moments and it was it was really fun. You should go watch that video. It's awesome because it's second place with 1100 minutes watched. Next is the second episode of Earthbound with 900 minutes watched. Now, in terms of just raw views because those are also those are more face value, I guess. You can actually go and look at that. So, yeah, these are a little bit these are a little bit more important. First place is Game Review Beta, Mario Kart 8 with Steven and Mal. First place with 243 views, my favorite caliber of, it's a break action, of rifle. It's awesome caliber, goes really far, pretty accurate, I love shooting up to 350 yards with it. Next is the first episode of Pals Play Wind Waker with 217 views, and then the first episode of Earthbound is at third place with 212 views. Now, I'm not really doing honorable mentions, but I believe that this one this one needs mentioning. Fourth place in terms of views is the Okami Sun Fragments Annotation video with 141 views. I'm not putting it on screen, I'm just mentioning it because that's actually kind of important. It shows me that people liked the annotations. They used them, more importantly. They weren't just there for the song. See, what song was that? I think it was the uh, Okami Image prototype, I think. If so, that's a really good video, or a really good song. I listen to that regularly, it's awesome. So in 2015, I've released four, yeah, four Let's Plays. I'm looking at them right now, so I don't know why I, <laughs> I questioned myself there. First was a co-op experience of Five Nights at Freddy's. Next was, in my opinion, the best content I've ever released on the channel with Pal Plays Earthbound. Then there was Super Monkey Ball 2 competition, where I went and played 
where we went and played through all the competitive minigames of Super Monkey Ball 2, took tally of the score, and uh, found a winner from that. It was pretty interesting. Go watch the tennis video. It was, it was pretty... It was a train wreck, I'll be honest. And then finally, we finished out 2015 with a co-op Let's Play of Pal Plays Wind Waker. I don't know why I said Let's Play and then also Pal Plays. I guess that those are synonymous. I don't know. But that was where Nova and I swapped control of Link and Tingle ep every episode, and the three of us... Tingle counts as a character. Or he counts as a second personality of me. I'll say... We had a blast. Do you guys hear something just now? I have no clue what it was. It was me. Okay, I'll stop. I'll stop goofing around. So if you go back to last year's video, you will see that I almost... I didn't realize it at the time, but I talked about New Year's resolutions indirectly. I talked about what I wanted to improve the channel, and looking at it this year, I believe that I fulfilled that. Uh, what I wanted to improve was retention time, general commentary. I wanted to... I wanted you to watch my videos longer, and I believe that that was... that was achieved. If you go back and look at the minutes watched, uh, we almost doubled the amount of retention time this year as opposed to last. And so it really does show. It also shows through the flow of co-op Let's Plays. If you go back to Five Nights at Freddy's, you'll hear that... I almost murmured the entire thing. And that's because I was using my conversation voice. And that's bad. Even as a conversation voice. It's awful. And by looking at the three co-op Let's Plays of 2015, three of four of the Let's Plays were co-op, you'll see that I actually improved. I combined those two voices, so I'm now talking to my friends as I talk to you. I'm talking to you as I do my friends. So that's actually pretty nice. And it also makes me a lot more understandable for my friends and to you. So... That means a lot. But that inc that improvement in commentary, I believe, also f flowed into the editing. Last year I said I had editing down pat, and while that couldn't be further from the truth, the editing was allowed to improve because it was complementing the commentary instead of accounting for it. Instead of accounting for times where I went on a rant that I really didn't need to do, and extending the episode up to 40 minutes when it didn't need to be, the, comment the uh, editing is allowing those rants to be, to have more flesh on them, I guess. They, they're just fleshed out a lot better, and it's more entertaining to watch, as evidenced by Earthbound and how much you seem to like that Let's Play. So, I do believe that the commentary did improve, and as we move into 2016, we're already three months in, I would like to f do more of the same. I'd like to further increase retention time. I also like to record ahead, keeping to the schedule a little bit better, so that when college days come where I just ha I can't record, I have to write an English 102 paper, then I'm able to do so and not feel guilty that I am depriving you of content. I would also like to branch out, and Alpha Beta Omega is the main, the main outlet that I want to do this in. I want to flesh that series out a lot more, I want to be recording for it more frequently, because it's my chance to sh to allow you, those of you who don't have time to stay for a full Let's Play, or a full video, to get your fill in a couple videos. So maybe once a week, twice a month, I don't know. But I want to, in some extent, extend the amount of time I'm dedicating to Alpha Beta Omega. So I'd like to do that. Now, before I move on to the next major Let's Play, there are two things that need to be done. First, the co-op LP. Uh, in case it wasn't obvious, I've swapped up my pattern of of what I did before, every 10 episodes in the major Let's Play, I would have a guest over to, for 2 to 3 episodes. I'm stopping that. That was kind of disorienting. And it was kind of weird, because if there was any story stuff that went on, suddenly the focus is not on the story, but instead on the guests that I'm having. And it was just kind of weird. It was fun. It's not a bad pattern. It just, I don't think it works out entirely well. So I'm moving over to doing a major Let's Play, and then a co-op Let's Play that's been recorded ahead, and then a major Let's Play co-op alternating those two, and I believe, for the most part, that will allow both camps, both sides that want to see us play together, and those who want more episode, more LPs like Earthbound to be satisfied, to be sated. 
Also, before the next ma major let's play, I would like to, I need to, I don't, there's no like about it, I need to complete the annotation videos for Heart Pieces and Blue Choo Choo's for Wind Waker. I need to finish those. I didn't do them throughout the year because of college, and I would like to finish those before I move on to the next major LP. Now, just to tide you over, not only, well, tide you over until the co-op let's play, as well as the next major LP, I will announce what the next co-op playthrough is. It is Five Nights at Freddy's 2 co-op once again. It was fun. It was really fun. And I tried to make it, I tried to almost force it to live up to the <laughs> the infamy, infamy? Infamy. The famousness. The fame. There we go. The fame of Five Nights at Freddy's 1 with the Foxy's grocery meme, which I'm the only one spamming that. But it's still a great meme. And I do believe that we did that. It it was it was very fun. We didn't get through as many nights as we did in number one, but we s were still we still did a great job and we had fun. And well, I won't spoil the entire thing for you, but I did something new in it. So that's all that I have to say for this video. Hopefully, I haven't kept you too long. Speaking of you, though, thank you, thank you so much. I was thinking about what I wanted to say in this video, and the thought entered my mind, what would you be saying, what would you not be saying, or no, sorry, what, were you, what would you be saying if you weren't doing this video? In other words, if you weren't doing this video, you wouldn't have a channel. If you didn't have a channel, what would you be doing? And the answer surprised me, because I couldn't come up with one. I don't know what I would be doing if I wasn't making Let's Play videos, because it's now become who I am. It's not a hobby. It is me now. I'm going to college for video production because of you, because you supported my channel. I gave legitimate thought to stopping after Wind Waker, or not Wind Waker, sorry, Skyward Sword, and I didn't because I had viewers at the time, I, and it was, I don't know, it's just kind of mind-blowing to me that I almost stopped and I didn't, and while I'm not a YouTube star today, I'm not being offered to be featured on YouTube Red, it paid off. And I'm now going to college because of your support. And that means the world to me. So, thank you so much for, the, for being there for me, encouraging my videos, and telling me how I can improve, and also just giving me information. For example, the we used some information from one of the commenters in the Wind Waker video, and it really means the world that you're commenting and that you're being involved in this growing community. So. That'll be all for this vi this video. As we move on to 2016, I have some big things planned, awesome projects, games I've never played before, genres that I would like to revisit, and I'll see you guys then, well, I guess, in the next video, which is Five Nights at Freddy's 2. See you guys then. It's weird talking to a camera. Also, I need a haircut. I'm starting to look like Vegeta. <laughs>